All right, Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for January 8th to the 14th of 2018. And this video is for Sidereal. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out that link down below. We're using the actual size of the constellations, which does change the signs from a mainstream astrology. All right, so Sagittarius, first of all, happy birthday for those of you who have your sun sign birthdays this week. But all of you do have the sun, Venus, and now Mercury in your sign. Um, actually, a lot of planets, Pluto and Saturn as well. So um, I think a lot of focus on your goals this week, as has kind of been the case, or where you can have a bit of independence in your life, uh, pursue your personal needs, and um, yeah, really move that uh, energy forward. So great week for that. And we do have some nice sextiles between those planets and um, your ruler Jupiter in the 11th house. So the larger picture of 2018 is for you to get in contact with your friends, or your network circles, um, or get involved with technology, uh, innovation, progressive stuff, and really actualize your future ideals. So really good week for this uh, future oriented stuff and um, that independence as well. And then when we get to the weekend, we do have some squares with Uranus and a conjunction with Mercury and Saturn, which we'll look at. So let's look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, Sagittarius, here's your chart for the week. Here's all the planets in your sign in your first house. So uh, yeah, really good to be focused on self and your goals and your independence at this time. Um, you could be enjoying this with Venus. There's a lot of focus here. And these planets are going to be going over Pluto here around Monday, Tuesday. So there's this uh, another transformation of self, uh, shedding of the old to make way for the new. Really good couple days to see where you can implement some changes um, in your life, which you might want to let go of, or maybe take action towards, you know, initiate in the face of some fears or some wounds. And this could be a very transformational time for you with all this in your first house, really, uh, you know, becoming more Sagittarian in that you're going to continue, I think, through this, uh, see things in the bigger picture, have a bit of that inspiration and uh, zest for life, especially because this uh, three-way conjunction is going to be sextiling up, sex styling up to your ruler Jupiter in the 11th. So there is this, uh, you know, I think self-expression coming in at the beginning of the week, uh, a bit of opening to connect with relationships. You're probably quite motivated or can be from last weekend. And where I think a lot of that motivation and inspiration is, is with the future ideals. Uh, this could be for your future hopes and wishes, could be for you to connect with your friends or your network circles, just lots of opportunity for that kind of stuff uh, really all year, but uh, getting activated now at the beginning of this week. So Mercury is coming out of your 12th house. If you found that last weekend and the previous month really uh, was more about uh, thinking behind the scenes, maybe there was more about um, not knowing exactly where things are in your life, maybe not so much with relationships or your career. Uh, but all that shifts here around Tuesday, Wednesday, once Mercury does go into your sign. And uh, you'll probably notice a little bit more clarity uh, with the mind if there hasn't been this past month. And finishing up with whatever kind of like healing you've been doing or deep psychological work you've been doing uh, this past month. So that's the first half of the week. And then once we get into the weekend, we do have <clears throat> that Sun-Venus conjunction squaring up to Uranus. It might be a bit of erratic uh, energy about the weekend or it's hard to kind of balance things. Uh, it may have to do with your home life. Um, and then again, whatever it is you're initiating with this first house energy. But do bring some extra attention to that if you are feeling a bit of the impatience or frustration or however you're personally feeling this collective energy. And um, just listen to that freedom. There's something there about that where you can't have freedom with your personal life and with yourself. But uh, of course, integrated and balanced in constructive ways. And I think you'll find that to be a, you know, a very good way of working with this. And it can become very constructive as a result. Um, and Mercury is also going over Saturn in your first house. So, you know, over the weekend, there's also this serious connotation, as there kind of has been since December, about you taking seriously your long-term goals. And a lot of you are assuming a lot of responsibilities lately and stepping into this level of maturity, if you will, with Saturn in the first. So great weekend to also be patient, maybe with the relationship stuff maybe with the career stuff, but a whole new chapter with those things in terms of what you want to build for the long term 
with them and just generally with the uh, with your life. All right, so Sagittarius, have a fantastic week. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you very soon for the next forecast.